All right, so I'm a programmer, been programming for well over 10 years professionally, and uh, today we're going to play a game called Human Resource Machine. The main primary mechanic of this game is, is one of actually programming. Uh, I've played it before, but it's been years and years. Um, my, my save games are gone, it's not local. Uh, I, I don't remember anything about the game, really, other than it's a bunch of programming problems, really. Uh, so it's challenges. Uh, a lot of it's right up my alley. We are going to play this game, and uh, some of it's just going to be seeing how I do. Some of it's going to be me talking through sort of my thought processes. So my thought is that this should be really educational, and uh, hopefully it's enjoyable, and we will have some fun. So we are going to get on this and get this started. Hopefully I've got the audio down low enough and uh, we're going to be able to have some fun. All right, so I'm going to select employee ID. I'll be the blue guy. Sure, why not? Yeah. All right. So, very first time, it's going to be in the mail room. Um, first day on the job. Construction follower. All right. So, we've taken stuff from the inbox and we're going to put it in the outbox. Nice and easy. Oops. All right. Uh, forgot. It's very literal. We are going to do one at a time here. All right. So what this is doing is I'm giving instructions one by one. Uh, Now that I'm remembering the actual interface for that. Okay. Most people stress and quit before making it this far. Alright. So this is where it puts in the jump statement. That's what me threw me off the first time. I thought I was just going to repeat. I'm not doing that. Turn this volume down a little bit because there's really not a whole lot of value to you, probably. So, what this is, is we are um, giving instructions. So, this instruction here is going to go to the inbox and grab something. Our next thing is we want to go to the outbox and dra grab something. Uh, now, the part with this new little piece here is basically we can jump back to the beginning and do it again. And that's what they're going to want. So inbox to outbox, jump back to the beginning. And he's just going to keep going and doing it and repeat. So uh, in, in programming, this is referred to as a loop. Uh, let's see. So we go to the each elevator, copy floor. All right. All right. Send the following three letters to outbox. B U G. All right. And then it introduced this copy from. So copy from. Four. So in this case, we give an instruction and then we pass it also some form of parameter. So we need B, U, and G in order to meet the requirements here. So this should go through. Copy from B. Oh, oh, there's a problem. Okay, so he, I'm not thinking right. I'm leaving out steps here. So copy from B, copy from U, copy from G, but in between each of those, we want to take it to the outbox. Outbox, outbox, 
outbox. I'm right. B to the outbox. U to the outbox. G to the outbox. I have to be more detail oriented here. Uh, <laughs> I am doing this at 10 o'clock in the evening after a work day. I need to focus. Hey, it's fixed. Just in time to get to work. Won't collate itself. All right, so grab the first two things from the outbox, inbox, and drop them into the outbox in reverse order. Repeat until the inbox is empty. All right. So we need to grab two things. We're going to grab four and five, but then we're going to grab five to the outbox first. So we need to grab the four, and then we are going to copy it to zero. And then we are going to go back to the inbox, and we'll grab the five. We will copy that to the outbox. Then we go back and grab zero. Go back to the outbox. And then repeat. So this is going to four down. We're going to put the five on to the outbox. Grab the four, put it on the outbox as well. Start over. And I just realized that this screen is not showing you my cursor. There we go. All right. So I can't, I couldn't point with things and talk to you all about them with it turned off. Okay. So with that, let's go. So four down, five across, four across. Q down, T across, there we go. And with that, we did what we were supposed to. All right. Got a little cinematic here. To work, everyone. <laughs> Regions of the city continue to experience power failures. Local authorities are investigating. All right. I realize now some of my audio might have been messed up. All right. Nice and rainy. Ugh. All right. Never good at math. Three fingers on his hands. Hey, so do I. All right. For each two things in the inbox, add them together and put out the result in the outbox. All right, so go to the inbox. So what is the, the, okay, the add takes something like that. So we're going to copy two, zero. Go back to the inbox, add zero, put to the outbox. All right. So grab the seven, put it down. Grab the one, add it to the seven, stick it out. There we go. If I understand this correctly, that's it. Nice and easy. Seven down, one add, eight out. Nine down, six add, 15 out. Speed that up there.
All right. All right. All right, look at. So, okay, we got two inputs to get an output. Okay, so we got multiple ways. Let's go to the triple room. Who are you? High performing employees. So I should be able to get this. I'm late, seven years late, apparently. Right. Performance with extra scrutiny. All right. So inbox. Copy to zero. Add zero. Add zero. Outbox. Jump. So I don't have any sort of multiply, but they want me to triple. So I gotta take it, copy it, add, add. So. Yeah. Nice and easy still. There we go. Nice and easy. Okay, six or fewer commands. We used six. 24 or fewer steps. There we go. I think that's about as low as that one goes. Octoplier suite. Okay. All right. So we are going to multiply by eight. So we're gonna do similar to what we did before. Grand inbox, copy to zero. Add it to zero. Okay, so that's going to double it. Can we then copy it back to zero? Double it again. So this will be two times, copy to zero, add it again, outbox, and then we're going to jump. So that's quite a bit different there. So we're going to take the four, put it down, add it. So four plus four is eight. So we've done times two. We're then going to put the four down again. Or put the eight down. And then add that. So that becomes 16. So that's four times four. We're going to take that 16 in our hand, put it down, add it again. So four times eight is 32. And if I'm, what I'm doing in my head is correct, we're going to have 32. So, this allows us to do more with less. So, it's a lot easier than adding in a whole lot more add statements. So, let's do that. All right. 32 out. And with that, there we go. Right, we got that. All right, Tetra Contiplier. 
wonderful feeling. Alright. Multiply it by 40. Alright. So is there a way that we can replicate what we did last round? If we keep going with that same pattern, we're not going to get to 40. But is there a way that we can? If we can get to 8, do that, and then do that straight up 5 times, that should do it. 8 times 5 is 40. Okay. Let's go ahead and start sort of what we did before. Yeah, can we... I don't know that we can... Can we go down here and copy what we had? Hey, check that out. Alright. So we can copy paste our whole program. Alright, so we're going to paste that. Alright, so that's going to get us to the plus 8. Is there anything we can do after that times 8? So what's in here will be 8 times. Should add it. Okay, so for four, this should be thirty two. Stick the thirty two down, sixty four. Keep going. Keep going. So we've got the 32. Put the 32 down. Would it be any less if we then added it, copied it again? That's here. Okay. I don't think that'd be any faster. Let's see what it expects. Okay, 14 or fewer, we did 14. 56 or fewer steps, we did 56, so all right. There was another way we could do that. Um, we could do what's called memoizations, because sort of saving what we've done in the past, and that's some of what we already did. But say we got up to a certain point, that 32, we can use the other slots. So if we take that 32 and add it together to make 64, we can store that in the second one and still have the 32. So we're kind of looking on like different levels of it there. But uh, so we we met what they thought was the most efficient, and that worked for us. So zero exterminator. Okay. All right, so we're going to get evaluated here on efficiency and performance. 
send things that are not zero to the outbox. Uh, okay, so we have inbox, outbox. We want jump if zero back. Okay, nice and simple. Get to the uh, inbox if it's zero, toss it, and go back to the inbox. Go to the outbox. Oh, we're done there, so we need to jump back to the beginning there as well. All right. Three is going to the outbox. Zero, toss it. Zero, toss it. There we go. I think we got that. And that's about as efficient as it gets. There we go. All right. I clicked to skip ahead. All right. We're doing pretty good. Zero preservation initiative. Okay. We want only zeros. Send only zeros. So, inbox, outbox. Jump if zero. So we can't say jump if not zero. There's there's nothing there for that. They didn't work that in. Um, but what if we did this way? So if it's not zero, it's not going to jump. So we can sort of do a strange sort of situation here where if it's zero, it's going to jump to the inbox, or jump to the outbox. If it's not zero, it's going to jump back to the beginning, and then we jump back to the beginning. All right. So that'll solve that. So the next question is, is there any way we can make this better? So let's, let's rise to their optimization level, what they're wanting from us. Um, don't think there is. The only thing I can think of is if we could eliminate one of those jumps. Don't think we can. Now, let's go with this for now, and we'll see if we meet their criteria. We've got Five total commands. We meet their requirements. All right. Oh, we used 28 steps. I want to figure out if we can do this better. All right. Um, let's see. Is there another way? What if we put the outbox up here? We got rid of that jump statement. If he goes to the outbox with nothing, does that throw? So if if he has nothing, he goes to the outbox, there's nothing to send. Is that gonna penalize us? Because my thought is if we do if we can do that, we can eliminate an entire command. And so then we're doing our jumps after. There's one less one less jump. We're not going to jump twice in any case. No matter what, we're only jumping once. So let's we'll see right here off the bat. Oh, empty value. Okay. So it's not going to like that. So inbox to outbox. Oh, that's what it is. Well, no. 
Did I miss what I did before? That's what I did before. Oh, and that's wrong. down here so I jump over the out box and then I get the in box jump to zero here jump there so I might have like an extra jump in the very beginning and then, after that, I will never have two jumps. Still five commands. Kind of have a weird jump here at the very beginning. But otherwise, we're never jumping twice. So that should, I believe, reduce the number of commands. Still meeting the requirements. Let's see if it met that efficiency level. So we got the five or fewer. 25 or fewer steps. We got 25. All right. Ooh, that one was quite a bit harder. I had to really wrap my head around that. Sub hallway year 11. Subtraction. All right, for each two things in the inbox, subtract the first from the second, put the result in the outbox. Then subscribe the second from the first and put that result in the outbox. Okay, so we're gonna need to subtract the first from the second. So we're going to need to take the first one, copy it down. Then we need to take the second one. Now we need to keep a copy of that second one. So I'm going to copy that one as well. I'm going to copy that one to one. Then I've still got the second one in my head and my hand. Sub zero out box. Then I need to pick the zero one back up. Sub one that in the outbox. So that's a lot of commands. But I think that's about as easy as it gets. So we're keeping track of two different variables in this case. 0 and 1. Our index is here. So we are subtracting the first, the second one from the first. Oh, that should be a copy from And then subtracting this one address here. That's that's something that may be confusing here. Is this zero right here? Zero actually means the first thing. Uh, so we do that a lot in programming, uh, especially arrays. Um, we start from zero and go forward. So that's what this is going on. Uh, so I'm going to put the first one down save the second one, and then do my subtraction. Then I'm going to grab the first one. There we go. Alright, let's make that a little faster. Yeah, I think we're meeting our numbers here. Alright. Alright, ten or fewer commands. 40 or fewer steps. We did it with 40. Alright. 
Equalization. Sometimes sub numbers are bigger than others, and sometimes they're the same. How can we know? All right, for the aspirational zero. All right, two things from the inbox. If they're equal, put one of them in the outbox. Discard non-equal pairs. All right, so we can put in comments, little pieces of tape here. All right. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, maybe I won't. It's kind of hard. There's no way to really type in those. So, I am on a computer. All right. So, two things from the inbox. So, two things. So, how can we tell if things are equal? We don't have... We've got add subtraction and jump of zero. So, the only way I can think to do this is inbox and we put it down now i don't know why they kept switching back and forth they did this one vertically and they did the other one left to right it really doesn't matter we've got these addresses so this zero corresponds to this zero here so we're going to copy the first one down we're going to get the second one and my thought is if we subtract the second one from the first one because we'll have the second one in our hand and the first one down on the floor, if that's zero, we are going to pick it up. So we're gonna copy back from one and then outbox that. And if it's not zero, don't do anything. Uh, because we have to put one of the numbers that are the same in the outbox. Now, earlier we did that challenge and there was the efficiency bit. So let's reuse that little trick. So put the outbox at the beginning and jump over it. So if zero, we're gonna jump to the outbox. All right, so inbox, copy to zero, inbox, sub-zero, and then if that's zero, we pick it back up off the floor, put it in the outbox. And if it's not zero, we go back to our first inbox here. So I think that will be our most efficient way should meet all their criteria now one thing that we that i haven't done i might as well show is this idea of debugging uh we use this all the time uh and this use case isn't exactly like oh but you know what i'll go ahead and comment for efficiency Fast code. Ha. Efficiency was going to take too long. All right. Anyway, so where I was saying, we have these little buttons down here. So I can jump. I can do this. I see this little arrow here. It executed the first statement. Execute, you know, hit forward. And we're going to do what that thing said. Forward. There's nothing there. Next thing is inbox. We're going to do the inbox. We're going to do the copy to. Then we're going to do this other inbox, number six. We're going to subtract the eight. It's not zero. So we're going to jump back to inbox. Copy it down. Get the next one. Subtract. It's zero. 
So we're going to copy it. Stick it in the outbox. All right. We're making it happen. So I could have the chance to do that one at a time. And see, I clicked the button so it stopped. What if I want to reverse? I can go backwards steps. So that's pretty cool. And I can just tell it to go on its own. So yeah, we do all that do that all the time professionally. Just to go through it step by step. Is this doing what I think it's doing? So twenty-seven or fewer steps. We got that. Alright. Alright, alright. Maximization. Change of plans. No longer profitable. Big numbers only. Put only the bigger of the two in the outbox. If they are equal, pick either one. Okay, so this is very similar to our last one. So we're going to go... We're totally going to copy that. Copy. So... This basically says, do the exact same thing as before. However, take it a step further. And no matter what, we're putting something in. Just make sure that whatever is going in is the biggest. Uh, so. Okay. All right. So what we want to do, what we're doing here right now, is we're taking the first one, putting it down, and then we're subtracting that first one from the second one. All right. So we have an if negative, and I think we don't care if it's zero. Uh, we're going to lump in, if it's zero, just with whatever, if it's positive, is doing. Um, so we're going to put that in there. We need to do something there. Um, so... We will need access to both numbers. That's that's the first and foremost thing. And so I'm going to add a copy to, after we grab the second number, I'm going to stick it in the first slot. Okay. So if you subtract the first one from the second one, and it's negative, we're going to do this. So you copy from the first one and stick it in the outbox. If it's not negative... We actually want the second one. So otherwise, we're going to copy from the, the second slot and stick it in the outbox. Okay, so we're still using the same trick again. This is the part where it's getting quite a bit more complex. But uh, I think if we step through it, we'll be able to see what's going on. So I'm going to skip my little efficiency trick that's been working well so far. Uh, we're going to go down to where we're grabbing the first number and putting it down. So that's a 3. Then go get the second number, and it's a 6. We're going to copy it. So we, we're, we're, since we're doing subtracting, we got to keep track of the original number. Alright, so I'm going to subtract the first one. It is not negative. So we're going to grab the 6 and stick it in the outbox. All right, so that's looking pretty good. So get the first number, save the second number, subtract, treat it like it's positive, and out we go. First number, second number, it's zero, treat it like it's positive, out we go. 
All right, so first number, second number. All right, four. All right. I think we did pretty good there. I think we got it. Oh, we got 11 commands and 35 steps. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep that. And I'm going to go to the second bit. So we can, we can actually write multiple programs to do the same problem. So we can experiment here. So where have we done extra? Uh, so obviously one might think, oh, well, it's my jump here. But it's not necessarily the case. It might be the case. Is it actually counting this as a step? I don't think it is. So this copy from one is jumping to the outbox. You know what, in this case, I think we can eliminate it because I don't think we're going to do multiple jumps here. So jump if negative. I think it still is. All right, let's start that over real quick. So where can we make this a little easier? So I've got to do this subtraction. Uh, I've got to put both my numbers down. I've got to do inbox twice. I've got to do outbox. So the only thing I've got extra right now is this extra front jump that makes... that happen. Alright, can I avoid it? So I definitely want to do a jump if negative. And if that's the case, I need to do copy from zero, out box. Else I copy from one, jump to the out box. And then I need to jump back to the beginning. So that's even worse. Oh, nope. I got an extra outbox there. That's still 11. That's still 11. So what am I missing? I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. So inbox, put it down. Inbox, put it down. Subtract. And if it's negative, my first one's bigger. So I pick up my first one, take the outbox, and jump.
There it is. So. No, that's not it. Not gonna work. All right. I hope nobody's sitting there yelling at the screen. It's right there. <laughs> So inbox, put it down. Inbox, put it down. Substitute. If it's negative, I'm gonna pull from zero and outbox it. If it's not negative, I'm just gonna outbox it. See, and then I would still have to do another jump to actually put it in the outbox. So it said to do it in 10 commands. In both of these versions, I've got 11, and they're about as eat as simple as it gets. I actually think my first one is simplest. It has that one extra jump in it. And I still did more things. My second one here. Uh, also, just in case anybody's confused, it's not going to count this. It's not going to count that. Even if I stick it like in the middle, it's, it's not going to count. Uh, that is kind of the nature of a comment. It's just there for seeing the code. Uh, let's see. See the way of doing this without using three jumps. So, how can we do this? A meeting there that they want. No matter what, I think we've got to do the subtraction. You know what? I'm not even sure that that is going to... Will that work on negative numbers? Yeah. Well. Okay. Okay. So if negative, grab the first one and outbox it. Else grab the second one, jump down here and outbox it. So that should re result in fewer because 
I'm only doing this jump the first time. If we do it this way, every single time, I'm going to at least evaluate each of these things. So this should be a... This should take more. So let's let's do this. Oh, where did I mess up? Uh, okay. So if it's negative, I skip. I did, I switched these copy froms, didn't I? So yeah, it's even worse. I think last time I had 35. Yeah, my best was 35. So what is different here? So I'm having trouble seeing this. Oh, you know what? So I sub it. Well, that just replaces. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I actually don't need to do this one on the first one. If it's negative... So I'm going to sub the second one. If it's negative, I'm just going to add the second one back. Do that here. Now, so that's how I get 10. And I think I'm going to still have the worst thing. So I can go back and employ that same trick here. Uh, okay. So I'm going to subtract the first one from the second one. If it's negative. I need to copy from back from the first one, else I need to just add back. So this this add just sort of un, undoes the line from seven. So that gets us down to ten instructions, and I think with those fewer instructions, this will get us better on that issue with the efficiency as well. And it's still the same logic. See, I just added that four back. There we go. So I think that's done it. Ten or fewer, we've got ten. And thirty-four or fewer, we've got thirty-one. There we go. All right, so we got a little cinematic morale insertion. And that, ladies, is how I saved a bundle on my long-distance telephone service. <laughs> Long distance. What's that? Back to work, everyone. A massive army of machines has surrounded the city. The right. Machines the machines are, are taking are over. Local authorities are investigating. Ooh. All right. Oh, this should be the big challenge. We'll go back to 16. Well, let's do them both, but we'll do them in order. Absolute positivity. 
All right, positive attitudes are determined to increase positivity. Smile, management's watching. All right. Okay, so send each thing from the inbox to the outbox, but if the number is negative, first remove its negative sign. Okay. Uh, all right, so we got inbox and outbox. That's what we've got to do. Uh, something about if it's negative, we got to do something. Uh, we'll just go brute force. So if negative, we'll do something else, and then we'll stick in the outbox. This won't meet our efficiency stuff, but I can throw this out there just for thing. All right. Uh, so if we know it's negative, what do we do? We put it down, and then we subtract it from itself, right? Twice. So if we have a negative two, we set that down, subtract it from itself, so negative two minus negative two, zero. And then subtract negative two again. Okay, so that should roughly solve it. Let's, uh, let's do what we talked about before though. Let's employ our trick. So we stick the out box up here. We only need it once. So we're gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna skip it the first time. And all right, so if it's negative, we're going to do these things. So jump if negative up there. Otherwise, jump here. So other than the first jump, be nice and easy. So we're going to jump down there, hit the inbox. Okay, grab it. It's positive. We're going to jump up here and outbox it. So we're going to hit the 9, copy it down, subtract it, subtract it again. Hey, we got positive. Outbox it. All right, so let's do this again. I think we got this. I'm feeling good. Eight or fewer. We got eight. 36 or fewer. We got 34. Yeah. All right. Now let's do 17. Exclusive lounge. Cold, logical decisions. Emotional decisions are for the weak. All right. Reach two things in the inbox. Uh, send a zero to the outbox if they have the same sign. Both positive or both negative. Send a one to the outbox if their signs are different. Interesting. This one's going to be... This one's going to be hard. So... We need inbox. We need to set it down. And then we need to inbox again. Uh, just for now, let's set it down as well. Alright, so we've got the second one. We may not need to copy that down. So if negative, we're going to jump out here. And if negative, we are going to send zero if they have the same sign. Okay, so zero 
and a box. Okay. All right, so it's almost like we've got several different things happening here. I may not even need to inbox it all at first. So how about we do this? So we grab the first one and we jump if negative. Grab the second one, jump if negative do this. Okay, so if the first one's not negative, we inbox. And then if that's negative, We do a copy from five and out box. So are we just gonna sorta of interleave where we are here? This is gonna be quite a bit more difficult. Okay. So if it's negative and if it's negative, boom here. Okay. So if this first one is positive, it goes here. And then if it's positive, and then if it's negative, it goes out. And so if it's negative, it goes here, inbox. So the second jump here. Woo, this one's harder. Okay, so this is a weird combination of, I guess what we refer to anding and oaring. Um, all right, so let's walk through this one by one. Let's take the two. So this two is positive and the five is positive. So the two is not negative. So we know it's positive. So we're going to hit this five and it's positive. So we're going to jump here. Okay, so inbox, positive inbox, positive, get the zero, put it out. All right, so let's do Let's do the negative negative. So uh, we're good. We're down here. Negative four, negative one. Okay, so negative four. Inbox negative four. It's negative. Jump. Inbox negative one. It's negative. Zero. Boom. Okay. So our next steps are negative one, six. So inbox negative one. It's negative. Here. Inbox, it's positive. Jump here, put a one. Okay, now it's not, doesn't look like it's listed here, but let's do the opposite. So we'll do six, negative one. So inbox six, it's positive. Inbox, negative one, down. Okay, jump back to the beginning. Okay, so I'm not sure. We need another jump, because we gotta jump here, back to the beginning as well. Uh, okay, so we can do our trick again. We got inbox, we got outbox here twice. So I'm going to put outbox here, jump, under it, take out this out box, take out that out box, so 
So can we do this up here? As well. So this is to jump to the five. This jumps there. This jumps to the five. This was jumping back to the top. Not needed. Okay. So we got rid of our duplicate. We got rid of that. There we go. So we do the four. We jump to the top. There. And then these two should be that. Okay. Hey, okay, so negative one, six. We should do a one. There we go. Negative four, negative one. All right, so negative four, seven. Does a one. All right. Oh no, 13. Oh, we got it in steps, but uh, we got it. Yeah, we got it in steps, but we still got 13 commands. All right. Can we eliminate a command? Can we reuse any of these jumps or inboxes? I don't think we can. This is the negative, negative route. Positive route. We're doing a good fall through here. So we get positive, positive. Okay. We got the negative positive we got the positive negative After this copy from four, go to the out box.
duplicate any of these. So here the negative goes to 4, positive goes to 5. Here the negative goes to 5, the positive goes to 4. This goes to another condition. So that's not So I think I could reduce, if I took this 4, so I need to remember these two blanks go to the 4. Or this might be the very same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. I think. Let me do this real quick. Yeah, I'm using 13. I'm at the steps. Still have to eliminate one of these commands. almost make one of these go back to another inbox. I'm not copying anything down. I don't think that would help me anyway. This is a fall through. And this is going to fall through. Both of these go right to the end here. You could almost get rid of this jump. No. Can't. Never mind. So this is positive, positive, and negative, negative is negative positive and positive negative. That makes sense. This is after it's four. Oops. We need to go to the out box. This is going to fall through when they're different. if I could get rid of one of these jumps. So this part here that falls through, namely. I bet I could do that. So this bit here jumps to inbox. So if I do inbox here, this one here, the jump if negative goes to the four instead. This can go away. My only other thing was this jump. Yeah, that's in the right spot. All right. So two and five should be zero. Negative six 
should be one. Negative and negative should be zero. Negative and positive should be one. Oh, it feels on other positive inputs. Okay. Alright. So the one that they didn't have an example for when I was running through this is this example right here, this positive and negative. So let's walk through what happens if it's positive and negative. So our first jump index. So if it's positive, it's going to go to input. If it's negative, if it's positive, it's going to go to input. If it's negative, oh, this one needs to be here. Okay, so if it's an, we, we gotta redo. Blah! I'm getting lost in my own head. There's a lot going on here. Uh, this actually might be my last one for the night, but I think I've got this. So, let's start. Positive, positive. Let's walk through it. So, we are gonna start here. If it's positive, we're gonna go to the other inbox. If it's positive, we're going to go up here, set it to 1, output, or 0, output. Cool. Negative, negative. So inbox, negative. Inbox, negative. Leave. Got it. Positive, negative, which is the new one that we missed earlier. Positive, so inbox, positive, inbox, positive. I did positive, positive again. Positive, negative. So inbox, positive, inbox, negative, five, outbox. All right. Traverse that, negative, positive. Inbox, negative, inbox, positive, fall through, outbox. Sweet. Let's try that now. Got it. Boom! 12 or fewer. We got it. Speed challenge. We got it. We even beat our last best. All right. So, okay. It's a cinematic. I'll let you have this one. Chilling on the beach. All right. So with that, we have done pretty well on Human Resource Machine. We have all the green dots so far. <gasps> we missed one. I didn't even know this one was counting us. I have to do this. I can't, I can't let that slide. be shortened. I mean, unless we do our, our trick again, but I mean, that gives us four total commands, and yeah, that doesn't save us anything. Alright, so let's just let it go.
Are we for the speed challenge? They want us to not use the jump? I mean, unless we do something silly like this. That would only work for even numbers of items. <laughs> uh, okay, that is just wrong. It gave us the light. Let's see. Let's go back here and look at this. This will only work with pairs. It will only work with even numbers of items. Though, I guess if it's just a loop, and it's just always going to go anyway, and it's just going to always constantly pick off the inbox and put it in the outbox. So really all we did was eliminate a jump every other round. Uh, so that'll reduce the steps, but I'd rather see a three-lane program than a five-lane program. Really. And on modern computers, it's really not going to make any difference. Really, it's going to be about understanding, and in all practical cases, you're going to want this loop to go a precise number of times. So, there you go. Uh, that is that is all I'm doing today. That is Human Resource Machine. We are up through the sabbatical beach. Sabbatical beach paradise. All right. We've been doing pretty good. And with that... Y'all have a great day. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, if y'all have any questions, if y'all have any uh, criticisms, uh, keep in mind I am coding it. well, really late in the evening. Uh, yeah. So this this is programming. This, this is it. Uh, the only difference really is this is coding at a very low level. We... Most programmers do not work like this in the day-to-day. -day. Um, we will have language contra constructs that will allow us to do much more precise comparisons. Uh, so you'll notice, for example, that we've had uh, jump of negative and jump of zero. Where's the jump of positive? We would have that. Um, cases to where uh, we've got add and subtract we would also have multiply divide which I believe we'll get later in this game uh, but also in regards to the jumps we would have a jump if greater than and a jump if less than and uh, it all comes out so yeah Really, uh, the underlying concept behind this is thinking in this way. Thinking of the fact that really we're just doing one thing at a time. In our modern programming languages, they sort of abstract away what that one thing is. And so certain things like um, multiplying variables, like that's one command in the modern language whereas the the much lower level like closer to the hardware uh, where you're doing very each and everything that the computer is actually going to do under the covers you are going to take one number stick it somewhere take the other number and then do the math on them sort of like the guy on the screen is walking around he's only got one thing in his hands most of the time except for that operation where he's picking something up and doing something with it so like that add operation that subtraction where he's going down he's picking something up off the floor and instantly doing something with that with whatever is in his hands uh, he doesn't have three hands he doesn't have you know this these complex operations that he can really do 
when you boil it down, it's very simple stuff. Uh, and so that's kind of what this game is about. Um, and for somebody like me, it's it's more of a challenge of like I've been facing of the efficiency and the speed. So you know, how, can you do it with the fewest number of commands? Um, and you can you do it where it takes the fewest number of steps? Whereas somebody new, uh, it's going to be thinking of it probably more like it's just a simple logic problem, and it's it's almost like it's tricking you into coding. Because uh, this is really what coding is. So, um, anyway, I'm going to call it a night. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, click the like and the subscribe and all that fun stuff. And uh, I'm going to be playing several more streams of this. In addition to uh, probably doing some educational videos, both for beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And um, we're going to have all sorts of cool stuff. I, I plan on doing this a lot more often. Um, so yeah, y'all take care. Have a good night. I'm gonna as well.